might as well sew the clouds to the back of my neck Cause they've been dragging behind my every step And I haven't seen the sun for days And I haven't seen the sun for days In the freestyle world, there's a pyramid, and there's a little bit of room at the top. Here we see something that's never, ever been landed on dirt before. Let's listen to the crowd and watch as Chuck goes for history. Bananas here in the Staples Center. This is the best feeling I've ever had in my life. The second he pulled it and rode away, you could see the sport race to like a whole new level. It's just like he just opened so many doors that nobody's even thought about. Chuck just took the bar and stepped it up further. Reasonable, experienced, knowledgeable people said was not possible. Chuck did it. When he was said he was going to try that body burial, you know, he'd been talking about it for a while and and trying to explain it to me. So I was like, you know, that sounds cool. And uh, with him attempting the body burial, there was just no way I wasn't gonna be there for, for his first attempt. Chuck has a really high level of confidence. And it's not overconfidence of like arrogance, but it's, he just, he knows what he's capable of. And in his head, he doesn't feel as if anything's impossible. I think Chuck's trick was so unique now you, he sort of moved the bar downfield. It's like he threw a Hail Mary pass. A couple months after Chuck won the X Games, he actually had a, a really bad crash and it put him out for the rest of the year. With all of his injuries and the rest of us, we kind of just got used to them. It was part of it. It's um, it's Monday. Is it Monday? A week and a half before X Games, and I haven't tried the burial since Winter X Games. Tried it there, crashed, but I hadn't tried it. At Winter X, I hadn't tried it since I did a Summer X. So, still like a new trick for me, and I got just a little bit of time to perfect it so I can do it again, and hopefully win again. Well, that felt better than any of my other ones I've just half attempted. So I'm impressed with myself. Yeah! yeah! Two in a row. I've only ever landed one, well, one in a row. Even when I did them in the pit before, I never landed two in a row. And now I just landed two in a row on my pegs, on my bars, and I'm pumped. So we're going to wait till tomorrow because I'm a little, a little hot and I'm um, a little tired from jumping so many times straight into the pit earlier. But um, I'm pumped to do this again tomorrow because I'm doing a bunch of them. And they're going to be beautiful. Chuck puts the pressure on himself. He says what he comes up in his mind, what he can and cannot do. And he's the one that adds the pressure, not the sport or the sponsors or the fans. Chuck's always going to be doing something that's on the edge, or Chuck's not going to be happy. What's going on here, Ralph? Nothing. Just, um... Waking up. Yeah. Something. 
very critical time. Go time for X Games is about right there. Last minute. It's cramming last minute. It's about the storm, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just told Wacker, nothing eases your nerves like the threat of an oncoming thunderstorm. <laughs> This is why this this trick takes home gold medals. Fat, fat tough. I think I'm gonna just come off the back of your butt. Like just when I come off, step farther to the back. <laughs> come back to good old LA driving. Tons of fun. We're going to watch Chuck win his second gold medal at the X Games here in LA. I feel good. The ramp is like a normal super kicker. Chuck's nuts. Uh, anybody who can sit up top of that drop in for 10 minutes and look at that ramp and then go do a body burial is insane. Detroit Brothers coming out for all the gusto. This is an all or nothing trick. You know what he's got? Let him hear you. Chuck had a reputation, even before I knew him or knew of him, as someone who would go big, who was courageous, who was committed. Either way going into it, Chuck's not going to back down when he gets there. So regardless of if he was hitting those 100% in the foam pit or 0% in the foam pit, he was going to go there and give it his all. And I figured he's done it before, and even though he'd struggled, I still had confidence that he would be able to pull it off. In the last few years, you know, Chuck has really just grown up and matured as a writer. That is one thing I can say in the last few years. Chuck has gotten much better at focusing on what's important to him and is, if that's going to put him at risk, he's not going to do it. You know, you go hang out with Chuck and he doesn't seem, seem like a big biker. And, and like anybody that's got next game's gold medal, he's just, he's just one of the boys that likes to hang out and ride. He's the same person. and. I joke with him all the time that he forgets he's famous.